Hi my Stampin' Friends, I'm Sandra at artypapercrafters.com, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. My video tutorial for you today is for this gorgeous little box and I have got some little gift tags in here because that's what I've made it to fit. And these are gorgeous, gorgeous little gift tags. Oh, they're just so super are made with this stamp set called That's The Tag and you've got all the, the small little fonts that are perfect for stamping on these little tags and you've got all your little ovals that, that can put little dots like I've put on there see those little dots around the outside edge you've got all that and if you buy the timeless tags, uh, framelits dies, which match this, which if you have a look here, you see, I've got my little flowers, which are stamped using the little flower stamp there. And then you stamp those and then you cut them out with that little tag there. Very cute. And I'll show you inside I'll show you my other tags here where you can stamp out your butterflies going up the sides and these here are the little butterflies so you lay that onto your card run that push that there position that there run that through your big shot and that puts puts little butterflies put some car a uh, piece of plain card underneath in color and gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so that's what we're going to be making today I've already made my tags um, and I'll show you how to make a little tag to decorate the front of the box so let's put our tags away in the box and I'll show you what you need to make this today you could of course fit sweeties in that box you've got plenty of room for little sweeties should you not wish to put tags in there but I think that's a sweet little box so to to make this today you'd need that's the tag stamp set with the matching frame that dies uh, you need a Bermuda Bay and real red uh, stamp pads you need a piece of thick whisper white and this is the thick whisper white available available from stamping up and that piece measures seven and a half by five and a half you need a piece of Bermuda Bay which measures seven and five eighths by two and a half and I've cut some designer papers that are also in Bermuda Bay which matches and this comes from the Regal's designer series paper stack where you get 40 sheets in a whole big pad which measure 12 by 12 and these measure you need to cut two that measure four and a quarter by two and three eighths and you need to cut two that measure four and a quarter by seven eighths so that's what you need I have also used the real red and garden green I've used this garden green one eighth of an inch striped ribbon it was on the retired list in the um, bargain section where they give the offers on stamping up and they were selling this off at a reduced price but it is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous perfect size for these tags one eighth of an inch might still be there if you pop over and have a look so if you'd like to buy any of these products they're all available to purchase from my website at artypapercrafters.com and I can sell to the UK, France, Germany, Austria and the Netherlands. So let's crack on with our little box today. So put that to one side and get our scoreboard. And in it we're going to pop our piece of thick whisper white cardstock and we're going to score it on the long side at one inch three and a half inches four and a half inches and seven inches turn it to the short side 
and we're just going to score it at one inch. That's the scoring for the base. We're now going to score for the lid and this is our piece of Bermuda Bay which measures seven and five eighths by two and a half. We're going to score it on the long side at one inch and I need to put my other scoreboard for this. So bear with me while I go and get that. Now because this is the lid, it needs to just be fractionally larger. So I've had to work in sixteenths of an inch, which is tricky, but not tricky when you've got... I mean, this is a, a cutter and scorer, so you can use this in, um, board just for... Let me pull you out. I can see that you're not seeing me very well. You can use this board for scoring and cutting, but everybody likes the scoreboard as well. Um, but in this instant, we need to score our lid at one inch, which we've done our one inch. And now we move it along to three and nine sixteenths on the board. So three and nine sixteenths and score. Move it along to four and nine sixteenths and score. And then we just do seven and one eighth. Turn it round, do we? Turn that round. We must do. And we're scoring that at... What are we scoring that at? Hold on. I'm going to stop the video for a moment. Sorry about that, I'm back. We're just scoring this at one inch. So we're going to score it up the top here and put our one inch there because that's easier. And we're just going to score that at one inch. Thought I'd, I couldn't quite work out what I'd done there, but it's all fine. Same scoring as before. We're just scoring it on the short side at one inch. So that's our scoring done. Let's put all our boards and stuff away. And let's make up our base. So we'll do a bit of burnishing. And then we're just going to do a bit of cutting. So we cut up here and cut that away and just snip in a little bit and just a very fraction of a snip in at the top and then cut up all these and notch in cut up and notch in and the same on here just notch it in slightly just a hair's whisper that's it get rid of those bits now we're going to decorate with our papers. So, let's see, that goes on there, that goes on there, that goes on there, and that goes on there. So let's get our glue and glue those on. Such a pretty colour, Bermuda Bay. I really do love it. So I've cut these papers so that you've got a one, in, a one eighth of an inch gap there and just a very smidgen of a gap there.
that's it. And then I'm going to just get my fast fuse <clears throat> and stick this down here. So this is now the back of the box, so in with our side tabs, that side there, I'm just going to put a bit of fast fuse on these outer edges, whoops, oh, don't I hate it when I get glue on there, and then what we're going to do, now it's on my fingers, and what we're going to do is keeping your box square, make sure that's square, tap that down there. Fast fuse along the bottom here. Keeping that square. That's our box. Just get your bone folder and make sure that those tabs have stuck down. And that's the base of our box done looks pretty doesn't it so bone folder and burnish our lid right then so this is the top of our box, this one eighth of an inch piece here. So that's the piece that you're going to cut. So we don't, yes, we do need that piece there, don't we? Yes. So let me work this out. Cut up these one, in, one inch score lines here and just wedge in very slightly. And then that comes round there and goes in there. So it's this piece. We don't need this little piece here. We don't need. Get rid of that. Right. Get rid of the bits. Put some fast views on our tab. Close that up. Make sure that's straight. So that now forms the back of our lid. Close those down. The same as we did on our base, we just put a bit of this fast fuse or wet glue of your choice. Again, I must get my mat and press that down. Make sure that you're keeping it perfectly your edge is perfectly straight, a bit more a bit more fuse on there. And close that down. Bone fold it in and just make sure that those little tabs have stuck, which they have. And that is the lid done. Oh, I forgot to put my tags in, didn't I? So I've made another bunch of tags using those lovely framelit dies. And they're my tags. Love tags. So useful for gifts and, oh, love them. So that's for my tags. Lid goes on when I can get all the... And that's a good fit. Good, good fit and I've just realized I've put the back of the lid to the front of the so now that's right because we need our seams the seam of the lid and the seam of the base needs to be down there together so that's our lid done gorgeous now for the uh, decoration on the front I'll just bring that in I have cut one of these dies so 
And what have we got here? We've got this straight one here. I've cut that in my big shot in garden green cardstock. And I've cut one of these in that in whisper white. Then this little leaf flourish, this little leaf flourish here, I placed that on and run that through the big shot and that cuts out, that cuts out then that little detail there. And then when you layer that up onto your garden green, you see the leaves through it. Cute. So cute. Right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do some stamping on our little tag. So we need to prep up the happy birthday on a block. Prep that up on our block. We need to do the little hearts. So cute little hearts flying up into the air. Where's the small block for that? So can you see that? cute little hearts that's your happy birthday so we've done that on our block and then I will show you the little flower so prep that up move those off to one side so we're going to do our stamping and we've got our Bermuda Bay ink with our real red today for the hearts you've got to have red hearts haven't you so into the Bermuda Bay ink and stamp your happy birthday try and do it straight so line it up there and press that down straight just there lovely and then these little hearts into the real red ink. A couple more little hearts there. And I'll just show you what that looks like close up. Can you see that? Isn't that cute? Cute, cute, cute. Love it. And then I'll just show you in the Bermuda Bay on a piece of scrap the little flower so we'll push our little flower into the ink Bermuda Bay ink that's our little flower and I'll just show you I'm going to shut that up I'll just show you how you've got your little framelit die and can you see You put that into your you put that into your big shot, put that over there like that, run that through your big shot, and out will pop a little flower like that. And then I've coloured that in with my Bermuda Bay Stampin' Right markers and my wild wasabi ones for the leaves, and I've cut out four of those. like that for my box and I've ruched myself a little piece of that garden green ribbon I showed you at the beginning and made myself a little bow so that's those done let's put that away and then we'll bring back in our box so we're going to now layer up So what I've done is I've just put a bit of fast fuse across there, the top part, because we don't want sticky on there. Line up your holes on the top there and I've just pushed that off to one side so you've got a little bit of green showing that side. And then that goes on our box here on some dimensionals. So let's pop that some dimensionals on that. And pop that on our box. Gorgeous. So on the front of our box, like so. Put our little bow across there 
and for that you'll need some glue dots. And what I've done is I've got a glue dot and I've folded it over in half like that because of the fact that the knot is not completely the circumference of that. So that's our little bow and I've just positioned that across the top of the tag there across the hole because obviously this is just the de for decorative purposes only, not a tag. And then I've got my little flowers and we're just going to pop them on there, two of those on there and the other two go on the lids. So let's get our dimensionals and I've just chopped some pieces off the sides here because you don't need full pieces on these. with this. Why is it not cutting? So let's put some little pieces on each of our gorgeous little flowers. There we are. Take the backings off and off at an angle with those two. Like that. And then two on the lid. at that angle there across the corners because I like them and that's it so that is how I've made my lovely little gift tag box to fit my little gift tags hope you like those today if you need the measurements or details of all the products that I've used to make these, please pop over to Arty Paper Crafters. If you're watching this in YouTube, click on the See More down arrow description bar where you will be able to click on the project details or my website for my online shop. So I'll be back in a couple of days with another project for you all. And until then, it's bye from me. Bye.